It's like a massive double-barreled shotgun. But are those like gravity loaded? Right? Are they like coming down? Is there a spring behind it? Oh, okay, so there's some like thing where he can Superman his way around, but then he sticks really well to the surface when he hits it. I'm sure the demographic for this game are people that watch Toy Story. Yeah, and played Doom in the late 80s. I'm Colin Smith, I'm an aerospace engineer. And I'm Jerry Hudak, also an aerospace engineer, and today we're gonna check out Dead Space. Let's see how it goes. Space Finally got some, we got some guns in Get space. Some. Space is not interesting enough Look at that. already. Look at those mechanisms. Guns in space. Oh, that was a little more violent. Oh, I mean, maybe this was an airlock situation. Yeah, that was, they this actually did it. got I... it a little better, but okay. okay. Well, <laughs> All right. Well, he... Never mind. He just supermans his way through what? space. Are they in his shoes? The thrusters? thrusters? Yeah. What the number on his back is. Like, he pops up sometimes. He has lights, like he's going to a rave, maybe, in the back. Just a weird burning man. It almost looks like an exoskeleton situation. I mean, I guess if you're if it's a guns in space kind of situation, you probably want your suit to have some armor. What kind of weapon is it, right? Because gun, but like big gun. Does it work everywhere? Can he shoot it while like outside the vehicle? Oh, he has like uh, Iron Man, like something on his hand. You see that? It's glowing. Oh, they have exit signs. If you actually had a gun in space, I think it would work because I think you have oxidizer in the powder and the gunpowder. If it's in a vacuum, that's fine. You don't need atmosphere. You think you could shoot a gun in vacuum? I think you could shoot a gun in space, no problem. It would actually be better because there's no back pressure. But you and also... it would go, and the bullet would go forever, basically. You would go the other way. You could use that. They could have used that instead of like fire extinguishers or if you need to get to a hole in the suit. Well, this guy has the Iron Man hand thing, so he should be fine. No, I like the, uh, you know, the safety the lighting and the exit signs. It's all OSHA compliant. Yeah. He seems like super confused. Maybe he's, obviously there's like bad guys. And was waiting for the elevator to get there. I bet, I'm it's just calling it now, some stuff is gonna drop down from the ceiling. It always drops down from the ceiling. Okay, so here's the other thing. I don't know if this guy's on a planet now or a spaceship or what, but clearly there's a lot of gravity. There's normal yeah. gravity. He's just walking around. Or it's boots. I think it's holding You think it's down. the special boots? Yeah. These boots were made for walking yep. in space. Yep, that's how it goes. <laughs> That was the original version, actually. Did you know that? So I think he's on a big rotating thing. The ground looks like it's kind of going away from him. Oh, someone behind him. Oh, oh, that's bad. I feel like this is like American Gladiator. What? You didn't even turn around. Some big scorpion thing just hit him and he didn't even notice. Did you ever watch American Gladiator where they shoot the tennis balls at him and they have to <laughs> die between each thing? That's what this reminds me of. And there's just explosions going off. He seems very unconcerned about all of this crazy <laughs> that's happening near him. For the boots, there's a few different shows have, have tried to use the play. Like basically what happens is on like, you know, TV or film set, it's expensive to do zero gravity stuff. So they try to like rationalize a way like that the actors are walking normally, right? So they're not like floating around all the time because in space they're not walking. And actually in space, like on the space station, like your feet and hands are just as valuable for like moving around. So they- Like a monkey? It's interesting when like astronauts would check out our spacecraft, like they would find like the weirdest nooks to be like, oh, this would be a good handhold or a good foothold if you're upside down. And it's like, <laughs> I would never, it's like between like a cargo rack and like the bulkhead and it's just enough, it's like a good like foot nook. And you're like, you see things, they see things as not like, there's no down and up. It's just like, there is no like floor and ceiling. Yeah, I think that's something that's that makes this game feel not very realistic. It doesn't feel like you're in space because it's a lot of, you feel like you're on the ground. There is a ground, you're walking on the ground, yeah. things are positioned bottom to top, not really feeling the the gravity in this one. I don't know what the number is on the, like is that a oxygen? That's probably his health or something. Oh, it just went up a bunch. Oh, that's, maybe he's, that's what he's getting from these things. So in a movie, you have to come up with some story why there is still gravity, but in this game, they have no excuse. Easily could have made no gravity, so. Yeah, but he has to be able to like walk around, right? Like, if he's floating, it makes it just difficult to move. But yeah, they could have boots that, and in some of the shows, right, they like activate the boots, and then now they can just walk around normal. I don't know, I'm not buying it. Is that an exercise bike? Warning, zero. <laughs> that's, that's like a, that's a poster in someone's bedroom. <laughs> That looks like a VR setup. VR in space. I don't know. You know, what? space is not exciting enough. Maybe it's a rowing machine. Oh, zero oxygen zero area. Zero oxygen and... area ahead, warning. If you are gonna go into zero oxygen area, you wanna Might know. Might as well have that, yeah. He has all these advanced tools, but he just stomps on the crate. Like space age <laughs> weapons, but like can't open a box. Let me kick through this door. Hull integrity. Okay, so now we're talking. This is, this is a serious laser gun. 
So it's just like a laser sight, I guess. My favorite space weapon is what's in space right now that they don't talk about. <laughs> From a movie or a video game, my favorite space weapon would definitely be like a laser gun. Something yeah. laser based. Death Star. Oh, look at those, look at those rounds. Like the rounds are on the side coming down. Do you see that? Oh, that's oh, like, those are that's big what rounds. Shooting. Yeah, it's massive. It's like a massive double barreled shotgun. Also, are those, but are those like gravity loaded? Right? Are they like coming down? Is there a spring behind it? They're like, falling exactly like there was gravity behind that's it. That's what I mean. But also, he's sitting in the chair exactly like there was yeah. gravity behind it. So. It's on fire, right? We're on. We have fire at the bottom. So this explains what the exercise bike was. Which they do have an exercise bike on the space station. So your muscles atrophy from not using them. They have to exercise on the space station. They're typically pretty physically in rough shape. They come back to gravity after a few months in space. When people that come back, if like their bone density kind of changes and there's some actual like physiological long-term effects that happen and so those are being studied right now to see how would the human body react to a very long like a long time in space and the eyes it really messes up your eyes yeah like it could be like long-term eye damage that we aren't aware of yet so i assume he's wearing some pretty intense spectacles under so. that suit when people talk about the asteroid belt and all these things it sounds like there's all these asteroids coming at you but it's so sparse it would be nothing like this you probably see one every day or something like that this ship has to be moving also. This feels like this ship is kind of stationary and the asteroid belt's coming at us. It's all relative motion, so we're moving in some way through there. Did you see the space scorpion, by the way? Yeah, maybe it's just like his pet. Oh, okay, so there's some like thing where he can Superman his way around, but then he sticks really well to the surface when he hits it, so yeah. it does seem like a boots situation. Oh, oh there he oh, goes, go. he's all better. So those asteroids coming down, you don't really have to worry about in Earth orbit, in low Earth orbit, but the International Space Station does have to worry about debris coming at it. So typically they would call them micrometeoroids. So they're basically like a grain of sand, not like a yeah. massive asteroid coming at you. And they don't use a massive space gun to hit them. Actually, sometimes they take impact from the very small space debris. If there is something bigger, they'll try to avoid it so they can either raise or lower their altitude. They move the whole ship just like boost it up and then come back down. Heads up display could be a real thing. And then in terms of like a breach, right, if like you would have an impact, it would depend on the size. If it's a small enough hole, I mean a lot of vehicles leak anyways, just like they're not perfectly sealed and you carry enough gas on board to repressurize. They carry gas up to the space station. They fill the airlock, right, and vent it so there's gas being lost, but as long as it's small enough, there's always a vehicle, an escape vehicle on the space station, so they kind of, there's time to troubleshoot the problem and while they're troubleshooting, they have like their like lifeboat ready and they can, at a certain time, if they like couldn't, wouldn't have been able to figure that out, right? They would have gotten in Soyuz and then like abandoned the space station. So they'd have just like let it, let the pressure bleed down and then they would have been like, all right, we gotta figure out how to like- But they're alive. Get back, yeah. But even like a teeny piece of debris would make a massive hole in the space station. Going, right? Yeah, 17,000 miles per hour. Yeah. You're not gonna believe this. Oxygen levels are falling. Something's poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. We're not going to have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. Did they say hydroponics? Yeah. They're growing a bunch of weed on this space station. <laughs> All right, life support expert. So they said it's filling it up with that organic stuff. That's what's killing it. I mean, like ammonia and other, there are. Yeah. It just seems like it just threw in like a buzzword for like that bad <laughs> organic stuff. He's not gonna believe it. There was just a giant sign. So she's gonna make a poison to destroy, to destroy the organic, organic stuff, stuff, but not the hydroponics. Right? You gotta save the hydroponics. I would save the hydroponics. It's probably organic. You know, they could just be growing like food. Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, tomatoes. Right. Yep. I mean, that's pretty smart. They seem pretty advanced. Yeah. Wherever they are, so I'm sure they're at the point where they can grow some weed, some wacky <laughs> weed. Oh, what are you? Just, this is like a. Just, Grab like a that thing sentient asteroid that's trying to smash him. Danger, danger. And then space scorpions also after him. I think that's his pet. No, he just hangs out. Smacked him in the back of the head yeah, and like, he was like bleeding. He was saying like, good job. Then there's this cube floating around. There's this like big- Oh, is there a person? There's oh, this like Tesla person. coil situation. It looks like the windings of a big motor up there. Something is definitely going through this like- I think that's the organic, that's the thing. That's, that's the organic stuff? Yeah, that's that organic stuff. I need the poison for Gotta make a poison. Oh, gravity activated? There was a gravity mention there. This is just a shoot 'em up game in space. This is not a yeah. space game. It reminds me of Doom. 
There's some oh, screaming. screaming. Yeah, <laughs> I think bad screaming. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, is that the organic stuff? But she's making the poison right now, so she's somewhere just like she's still making poison. Mm -hmm. She doesn't even know these scorpions are out. She also said, "You're not going to believe this." I think like he's like, <laughs> "No way." He's already wandering around with what? a gun. Oh, the oh the lack of oxygen is. That's not the major problem right here. Maybe because the they have the oxygen. door open. Like, they're letting all the oxygen out. So where was she? Is she near him? Because... She's in the laboratory, the poison laboratory. Those people? Okay, so those people are kind of dead. But they're also they were floating. floating. Yeah. So when you die, your boots stop working. There you Bigly go. Space. I knew he was going to do it. You knew it? Yeah. He's looking at it. Just You know, the bottom of his boot reminds me of Toy Story, where he writes, like, Andy <laughs> on the bottom. That would be funny if it, just had his, if it just had... Because <laughs> it has this, like, red paint down there. I'm sure the demographic for this game are people that watch Toy Story. Yeah, and played Doom in the late 80s. <laughs> this big sphere has these rotating things. I feel like we need more explanation because I have no clue what is going on. Yeah, at this point, would would you not call her back? Yeah. Hey, hey it wasn't um, the oxygen that was the problem. It was actually all these space scorpions trying to kill me. It seems like our hero has escaped from... It's just another random, just vaguely lots of space. rotating. I want to know what this just giant ball is that he. Oh, maybe. In front of. Do you think they captured an asteroid, possibly? Maybe. Why is it so round? So wait, was that another space scorpion? Maybe that <laughs> is his pet. What's he? Not a pet. No. He just seems but so we, unconcerned oh. by everything. If you were concerned by all of those things, you'd be stressed out all the time. Dead just people. Okay, here's some more come. So there's some scorpions, some spiders, and they all they're all like missing their skin. Maybe from the poison. Maybe they all got poisoned. He just got a semiconductor. It's like a microchip. Just like the, it's just the broad, like, science-y term, right? Like in, uh, the big heist is always like, oh no, they have the semiconductors. <laughs> big fire, could be bad. I like how with all this modern, like, transportation, we also have to, like, just, like, wait for the, ele the cargo elevator. They should have <laughs> elevator music in there, like, a little pause, just you like. Did. It says flame fuel, I'm not sure what that's about, but basically, if you're in a low oxygen zone or in a low air zone, you're not gonna have all this fire, because you need an oxidizer. A method to extinguish flames is to, right, if you're on a spacesuit, you just vent the spaceship. Vacuum. Yeah, and that actually will kill the flame. You get on your spacesuit, you vent the vehicle down, the fire dies out, and then maybe you do a purge to make sure that anything that burned up, if there's any toxic things, you kind any of like- poison? Yeah, blow that out. Any poison that your girl made for you and lingering around, and then you close it back up and repress, and then you can come off your suit. Putting like in space vehicles to like release suppressant like you'd be used to on the ground is also a problem because then that just fills up. You then having to breathe that in. It's very confined spaces, so normally you're not gonna have like a fire extinguisher, fire the, same, extinguisher just, the same way, yeah. Then all the stuff would just be floating around. And... Okay, so there's some green orbs, oh. always popular in space he games. Can, he has some sort of like, he can grab these things. He did that with those smaller asteroids. He has like this power and then he flies around. There's too oh, much just, going on. Oh, he just on. has them. I think a lot of asteroids are heavy in iron. An asteroid chunk could be magnetic, so maybe spitballing here. They see the asteroids, they captured one. That's what the big sphere was. They mined it for iron, and then they use that for all their magnetic floors that they need for the space boots to work. I feel like they have a lot going on to be worried about like work, right? They're like, oh, well, we gotta do this, keep the mining going. You think the whole time like he's just trying to like just do his job, like mining. He's just like, he's just a- Yeah, he's like, oh, he's I gotta shoot miner. some more space scorpion. Uh -huh. It kind of is a scorpion. It has that like yeah. pointy tail situation. Oh, there the end of the tail, guys. And then he's just railing on this one. I just pulled out the other gun. Wormy gay. That gun's kind of interesting. What do you think's going on with that thing? It doesn't really look like a gun. It has like two plates. Oh, we just completed a sub objective. Oxygen region. recharge for his suit? Yeah, I think that might be what the number on the back is. Maybe that not. could be a real thing. So if he has a limited amount of oxygen in his ecosystem system in his suit, he might have to recharge it. Pressure bleeds down. He has to be super careful because a pure oxygen station like that is probably super dangerous. So you got to make sure you're using the right metals or the right materials mm -hmm. for pure oxygen. Copper-based stuff is good. There, Definitely yeah. no titanium. Monel, there's like some, some fancier like aerospace materials that can be used. You know, based on all the other things things going on in this game, my guess is they did not do a good job designing the pure oxygen recharge system. Well, maybe. Maybe. It's the only thing they got going for. That one was a little rough as far as space accuracy goes, but I'm sure it's fun to play. A little stretched on like the accuracy standpoint, but yeah, I'm sure it's entertaining. <laughs> Fly around. So that was Dead Space. Thanks for being with us. Check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube channels. Like Disney, like you're watching, you're watching <laughs> Dead Space. On the Jerry channel. Yeah. yeah. On Gameology. Yeah. Yeah.
Do we need to say that? Hit that, smash that subscribe button. If you like Dead Space, smash that subscribe button down below.